In this video, we will look at solving polynomials that have x squared in them for x. Whenever there is an x squared and an x equation, we need to factor the equation before we can solve using the zero product property. If the factors both, e if the factors are equal to zero, then one of the factors must be zero. Considering this equation, before we can solve it for x, we first must factor it. Using the AC method, we want to multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 4. A little bit of work tells us that it's 6 and 2 if the 6 is negative. Because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can use those numbers in our factors. x minus 6 times x plus 2 equals 0. Now that we have it factored, we know one of those factors must be the 0. So we set up two equations, one for each factor. Either the x minus 6 equals 0 or the x plus 2 equals 0. We can quickly solve these equations by adding 6 to the first to get x equals 6 and subtracting 2 from the other to get x equals negative 2. These are the two numbers that when plugged in for x in the original equation will give us 0 for our final answer. Let's take a look at another problem where we have to factor first before we can find our solutions. In this problem, again, you notice we have an x squared. Whenever there's an x squared, we must factor in order to find the solutions. We'll factor using the AC method, multiplying to negative 12 and adding to positive 1. This is 4 and negative 3. That's how we're going to split up the x into 4x and negative 3x. Ready to factor now using the reverse FOIL method. The only way to multiply to 3x squared is 3x times x, which means the outside had to be multiplied by 3 to give us one of our numbers. Clearly, the only factor with a 3 in it is the negative 3x. We know 3x times negative 1 would give us the negative 3x. On the center, x times something must give us the other number, the 4x. Clearly, the way to get 4x from x is to multiply by 4. Our expression is now factored. Once it's factored, in order to find our solutions, one of the factors must be equal to 0. Either 3x plus 4 is 0, or the x minus 1 is 0. We can solve by subtracting 4 from the first equation, giving us 3x equals negative 4. Finally, dividing by 3, the first factor is 0, when x is negative 4 thirds. To find our other possible answer for x, we solve the other equation by adding 1 to both sides to get x equals 1. If x is either 1 or negative 4 thirds, the original equation, when worked out, will equal 0. Whenever there is an x squared in the problem, we will always factor it in order to solve using the zero product rule, setting each factor equal to zero.